Hello, Mario here. This is another Toon Boom Harmony tutorial. We have all our drawing layers prepared for our pegs, and we've added our pegs. We can arrange the pegs into a hierarchy, and that'll give us a basic rig. So each drawing layer has a peg. There's the head drawing and the head drawing, uh, the head peg, the hair drawing layer, and the peg. Now what we want to do is organize these pegs into a hierarchy. So that way when the upper arm moves, the forearm will move. And when the forearm moves, the hand will move automatically. In order to see this hierarchy, we need to go into our node view. As you can see, this is quite a mess in here. So we need to organize it. And this particular view does not have the buttons to organize it. So what I do is I actually add with this plus button in the right, another node view. It's the exact same thing. But now I have these organizational buttons. So now if I highlight everything, and organize, just choose the defaults. I can now see my character a lot cleaner. First thing I do is pull down the composite node to give me a little bit more room. So the blue nodes are the drawing nodes, the green nodes are our pegs. So the blue nodes are drawings and the green nodes are pegs. The red nodes are hidden, so we're not currently seeing these. So you can push these out of the way. So here's our front hand peg, and our front hand will be controlled by the forearm. Now I actually want to see the character as I do this work. So I'm going to collapse it a little bit and move my character over. That way I could see in case anything jumps. So here's the front hand. Make sure the animation button is off. So if I move my front hand, okay, it's rotating correctly. So let's take the forearm and attach it to the hand. That way, if I move the forearm, the hand will move, will follow. Okay, and again, we're going to fix up the artwork after. If I go to the upper arm and move it, only the upper arm moves. But if I go to the upper arm and attach it to the forearm, now the whole arm will move. Again, we're going to have to fix up the artwork, but this is working the way we want it. So let's do the same with the other arm. So here's the back hand and the back forearm and the back upper arm. So I'll attach the forearm, attach the upper arm, And we can see that the arms are attaching to the chest, so I'm going to pull the chest up and attach that to the upper arm. That way if I move the chest, both arms will follow. Now clearly I didn't set pivots for the chest correctly, so let's fix that. Oh, so I forgot to send the pivot point up to the parent. And I guess I forgot to disable animation controls. So let's fix that now. There you go. So now if I check, select the chest, it should pivot properly, and both arms are going with it. So let's attach the neck as well. Here's the chest. 
there's the neck. And the neck, if you move the neck, the head should move. And if you move the head, the hair should move. So there you go. The whole upper torso is now working. Again, we're going to have to fix the artwork. That's no problem. All right. So let's start doing that with the foot. Let's so start attaching the feet to the legs and then the legs to the hips. So there's the hips. There's the front leg and the front foot. There's the back leg and the back foot. And we have a pair of eyes over here that I think we should move closer to the head. So I'm gonna move them over here. We are gonna reorganize all this. Now I think the eyes should be on top of the head. So the head is there. There we go. Then we can reorganize this after. So the eyes should follow the head. We could fix that up after. Let's go back to the legs. So we have the foot attached to the legs and the back foot attached to the back leg. So now let's attach the hips to the legs. Pivot point is off. Let's double check that. Oh, pivot point is off on a number of these. I'll have to go back and fix those. So let's do the hips first. So we'll go into the properties of the hips, turn off controls. There you go. Now the hips are correct. The legs are attached. Now, since I've made a number of mistakes here, what I'm going to do is select a number of them. So I'm going to control select both feet and both legs. And just to make sure I set the properties correctly, I have all four collect selected. I'm going to go up to this shortcut to set the properties on many layers, many drawing layers. Notice I have the drawing layers selected, not the pegs. And there, I could set parent peg. I can also turn off animation tools. There you go. So they're all fixed. So now if I go to my leg, there you go. Pivot points in the correct place. Foot, pivot points in the right place. So the hip is actually going to control the entire body. So I'm going to connect the hip to the chest. That way, if I move the, the hips, the whole body moves. That's going to be our center of the character. And that's our hierarchy. Now, it's gotten a little messy here. So we can highlight it all again and use that icon to reorganize it. There you go. I find that I always reorganize it after as well to make it a little bit more readable.
talking to Tumum directly, they prefer, instead of this fan idea, they like the nodes in a straight line. And to be perfectly honest, this makes sense to me too, because all the drawing layers line up straight. So there's no benefit other than organization to work this way. And then they even match up these at the same levels. And this goes across, see? And I can see why they do it. It is much, much neater this way. It also is a little easier to see how the hierarchy is built. So that's our hierarchy, totally functional now. And we can start going ahead and animating this. Um, you'll notice that the eyes are the only thing that are not lined up. There you go. Much neater to work with. Now to give us better control over the whole character and the character's environment, we always add a master peg above the hips. So I select the hips, control P, and then I rename this to master. There you go. The hierarchy is now built.